Good afternoon, everybody. It's Tuesday. Seven minutes on the timer. I'm eating my uh, Brazilian nuts for selenium. That takes care of swelling of all kinds. I want to do my best to open up 2 Thessalonians to you, 2nd chapter, beginning at the 3rd verse. Let no one deceive you in any way. Let no man. In King James, that's in there a whole lot of times. Let no man. Let no man. And I don't care if he's preaching in a town square, standing on a box, or he's behind the pulpit in a church or a particular Gnostic mixture, Christian denomination, or preaching in Disneyland. <laughs> let no man deceive you. Didn't say an angel, said let no man. Yes, we fight a spiritual warfare, but even darkness is using and speaking through man. So it's deeper than man, it's spiritual. But darkness uses men in the pulpit. Uh, false imitation. Supposedly light, but it's, you know, Satan can come forth as, as light, false light. Light that fades. The glory light that the Lord Jesus Christ has never fades. It is so powerful he can stand in our sun. And the sun doesn't affect him. Scripture even says, saw someone or an angel or something standing in the sun. I read on. Let no one or no man deceive you in any way, for that day will not come. We're talking about the return of the Lord. That day will not come. And uh, unless... The rebellion come first. The rebellion is a desertion, an apostasy, and a, re a revolt, a rebellion. Strongest word is desertion. People leaving the message. People leaving the gospel of peace in Christ. Mystery. I read on. Now, the point I'm going to make is lawlessness. Once, twice, lawless one, lawless one. But lawless, four times, locked in major doctrine. Lawless, okay? Lawlessness. That's like right righteousness. Okay. And we run into it uh, right here. And the man of lawlessness is revealed. The son of perdition, do you know what perdition means? I've got that in what and Grandma said in the second verse. Damnation or destruction, perdition. is Damnation or destruction are, is the definition of perdition. Verse 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself, proclaims himself. Uh, there's another one in here. Anyway. I won't chase that rabbit. Who opposeth and exalteth himself against every so-called God, all the gods of India, China, Japan, all the gods in the whole world, or objects of worship. He proclaims himself above all of them, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Verse 5. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, Paul speaking here to the Thessalonians, I told you this, and now what is restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time? Oh, and you know what is restraining him, the Holy Spirit. But it doesn't say the Holy Spirit left earth and went back to heaven. The Lord said, I will never leave you or forsake you. But when it's time for this false Christ, 
this lawless one, a man to come on the scene, the Holy Spirit allows it. He steps aside. And God, through the Holy Spirit, even sends a spirit of deception that those that do not love truth believe a lie, and God sends it. All right, let's back up here. Verse 5, do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you this, and you know what is restraining him, the lawless one? restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time. Verse 7, I am reading 2 Thessalonians second chapter, verse 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. The mystery of lawlessness. If you haven't done the study on the word mystery, if you know how to study with a concordance, 24 times, 1 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, we are to be good stewards of the mysteries, plural. And here is the mystery of lawlessness. There's negative mysteries, positive mysteries, and mysteries, mystery or mysteries, plural, is in the New Testament 24 times. That's just from Acts to Revelation. And the Lord himself used the word mystery three times in the Gospels, which are Old Testament up to the cross. I read on. Okay. Only he who now restrains, that's the Holy Spirit, will do so until he is out of the way or steps aside because it's time for the revealing of the lawless one a man who exalts himself above all that is worshipped or called God, proclaims himself savior of the world. Okay, that's not scripture. Let me get back to scripture. Verse 8, And then the lawless one will be revealed, and the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of his mouth, and will destroy him by his appearing in brightness glory. I am the bright and morning star. There's false light, there's angel light, but the Lord's glory light never fades, and he is the bright glory morning star. I added glory to bright. <clears throat> destroy him by his appearing, his forth shining, and his coming. The coming of the lawless one by the activity of Satan will be with all power and with uh, pretended signs and wonders, verse 10, and with all wicked deception for those who are to perish, those who are in perdition, damnation, and destruction, who are to perish, the ones who fall away and desert because they refuse to love the truth, and so be saved. Verse 11, therefore, God sends, not the lawless one, not Satan, God sends upon them that don't love truth and fall away, desert, a strong delusion to make them believe what is false. Verse 12, so that all may be condemned who do not believe the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness or lawlessness. Lawlessness, lawlessness, lawless one, lawless one. And I added lawlessness for locked in major doctrine plus one, five times. There's your teaching. There's a day coming when the Holy Spirit steps aside because it's time for the lawless one. Love you. Bye.